All right, let me get ready for the hate in this video right here. It's about to be serious. Let's get to it. Bolo! All right, before I get started, make sure you guys subscribe, make sure you guys comment, and please turn on those post notifications. And oh yeah, make sure you comment real good on this video too, because I want to hear your opinions on this one. And at the end of this video, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up if you like this type of content. If you don't like it, go ahead and hit that thumbs down. As you guys already know, I really don't care. So yeah, I'm Bolo the producer, and I state my opinions on YouTube which a lot of people state their opinions on YouTube. And at the end of the day, I could have made this a YouTube live video where I could have answered questions, but I kind of wanted to do this in a way to where you guys can come back to this video and go to certain parts and hear out what I'm trying to say. Even though I'm probably gonna get a lot of hate on this video, I'm just gonna kind of keep it 1000 for you. Now, before I get to what I really want to say, I want you guys to know a quick backstory about me. I've been doing music, since 2000, making beats since 2001. Over the course of my career, I have had songs taken from me. I've lost out on publishing. I've lost out on front end and back end money. I have been disrespected, but through it all, I continue to keep going. And now I can say I'm responsible for over 13 million singles sold. And that's a lot to me. Might not be a lot to a lot of you guys, but it's a lot to me. And if I actually count the other singles that I was involved in, I would probably have around about 17 million singles sold. So yes, I've been through it all. And I was a knucklehead. I was a hardhead. I didn't listen. It was a lot of things that I did not do. But then when I got my head on right, things started working out much better. So that's a quick backstory about me. So now let's talk about some of you and the reasons why you probably will not make it in this music business. And let's talk about the first issue, and that is your overall product. Meaning that some of you guys are just not delivering the product that people want. Does not mean that you don't have the skills or the talent to bring that product. You're just not bringing the product that people want right now. As the music industry goes, things change basically from day to day. And if you're somebody who is not the type that can adapt to change, you're not gonna make it in this music business. That's why a lot of artists who don't adapt to change pretty much sound the same and they're not gonna go far and they cannot adapt to the changes that are happening with the audience. And that's why basically uh, the artists end up stealing their fans because that's all that happens. A great producer told me back in the day, you don't gain new fans, you steal old ones. And that's what happens. Same things that happens with producers. If you're not adapting to change, you're gonna lose your fans to somebody else. So you have to be the type of person that can deliver that product and be someone who is very good with change. And also be somebody that is creative and innovative with change. That's pretty much it. Doesn't mean your beats have to be better than somebody else's. Doesn't mean that you have to go out and find this new particular sound and do this? No, you just have to know how to adapt to change. That's it. Number two, another reason why a lot of you guys are not gonna make it is because you do not have any proper knowledge of the music business, which in turn, a long time ago, I didn't have that either. I thought I did, but I didn't. And I can easily call myself out on that because I actually lost one of my first big placements that way. But at the end of the day, I didn't blame anybody but myself and the guys who did it i don't have no harsh feelings for them at all been in the studio with them didn't have any any bad things to say about them because at the end of the day they knew more than what i knew and i lost out because i thought i knew everything about music but i didn't and over the years i gained a lot of knowledge and it's helped me out to this point now to where certain things just can't get past me anymore and now i know how to maneuver in this game and i know how to set my limits and i know how to do things to where it would make me money in the long term rather than the short term. Because when you learn the music business, you'll learn that it's all about the long man's game. It's not about the short term income. So I have no problem doing certain things that people may say, well, you're not making the money right now. But it's not about right now. It's about the years to come. Because we all want to do music to make sure that we have money to take care of us for years to come. And now that I know the business of the game, I can do that. So what a lot of you guys need to do 
is not try to act like you know the business, but really dive in and get to know it. I learned a lot from my lawyer. I learned a lot from my publisher. I learned a lot from the labels too. So if you need to learn, I don't care if you gotta pick up a book. I don't care if you need to talk to somebody. I don't care if you need to ask me. I'm just gonna give you my honest opinions on it. And I'm gonna give you my honest answers on that, which I might do a live about that soon. All right, and number three, some of you guys are just too damn hard headed. Some of y'all, you can literally tell you the whole game, give you the whole playbook, but you're just too doggone arrogant and hard headed. And I see it all the time. I see it even in the comments on the videos where people will come and leave my comment, won't even watch my whole video, won't even watch the whole video and then come in and basically comment on something that I just said in the video. But then they'll say, well, I have all this experience. I've been doing this for so long. I've been doing this for 15 years. I've been doing this for 20 years, 30 years, but don't have any hardware to show for it. They don't even have any sales to show for it. They couldn't even tell you who was the big artist that they work with. So if you've been working all that time and you've been putting in all that effort and you still don't have anything big to show for it, then that means that you ain't really did nothing yet. You might've done something locally, which is cool. You might've done something regionally, which is cool. But you cannot come to me and tell me, oh, Bolo, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. You don't know this, you don't know that. And I literally would just say it in the video because some people are too hard-headed and they don't want to absorb what you're saying because everything has to happen so rapidly. Like I said before, it's a microwave society. We all know food tastes better coming out the oven rather than the microwave. And some people want to slap everything in the microwave just because it comes out faster. And I, I can't eat food that's in the microwave like that too long. Just ain't got the right type of taste. And that's the same thing with this music business. You have to absorb stuff the right way. You have to take notes, mental notes, and you have to learn from people who have done it before you. I learned from all the producers I've been around, all the record execs, all the artists, everybody. I take notes and I try to learn even to this day because I have to stay on top of things. YouTube is my fun place. I don't get paid that much money to give out the information that I do, but I do it anyway because I really wanna help you guys. But you have to be the type that absorbs information and not be so full of yourself to where you're just hard-headed. Like they say all the time, a hard head makes a soft ass. And that's the problem with a lot of you guys. So at the end of the day, those are my three things why a lot of producers might not make it in this music industry. And if you guys agree with me, let me know. If you don't, make sure you guys put in the comment section and let's talk about it. And I might do a YouTube live on it real soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys learned something from it. And like I always say, peace out.